All right, what I'd like to talk about uh, right now is a uh, uh, forearm workout. And I want to show you what I've got set up here with my, with my uh, power rack and uh, describe what exercises can be facilitated and what muscles can be um, worked. Uh, I saw this design on a website. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, so I'm not going to go into um, a big search to try to find it again. But he, he had an article about a bunch of homemade gear that he made for his gym. And he had a, uh, a wooden uh, power cage. Now, I'm, I don't know that I recommend a homemade wooden power cage. Uh, a nice steel power cage would be my number one bet. But what he did have was a piece of PVC pipe. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to bring the camera around. We'll take a look at it. A piece of PVC pipe with some string wrapped around it and just lifting up weights and you would just rotate it like such all right so what we're able to do we're able to facilitate the forearm flexors this way all right and then bring the rope around the other side we're able to facilitate the forearm extensors right here yeah, which is a real nice feature plus also if we come to the rod here, we can also do a torsion or a rotation exercise. So let's imagine that here's the PVC pipe. I'll grab the pipe and we'll look at it here best we can and twist it here. So if the rope's coming off one side, I'm pulling tension here and releasing here. If I go around to the other side of the power rack, then it'll be tension here and releasing it here. So all I have to do is, is be on one side and then the other side. So I'll demonstrate real quick. I'd like to point out that since the PVC pipe is um, a little bit of a slippery surface, I grabbed a pair of these uh, Wells Lamont sticky gloves, which makes uh, gripping the pipe a lot easier. It's easier just to get a pair of $5 gloves and have a real good grip here. And Probably going to try it a little bit on on uh, dumbbells and a bar at a later date. See how they do. But if you can take a look here, we have a hose clamp going around the PVC pipe, and the PVC pipe is fit just on the outside of the um, power rack uh, safety bar. Okay, so it it spins freely. Well, the hose clamp. It's not holding all of the weight, okay? All these loops of rope, by the way, this 550 cord parachute, uh, parachute cord, all these loops of uh, rope on the pipe is what's actually holding the tension. All this is doing is just maintaining the position of the rope while I get a couple of, uh, a couple of rotations through. Now, some of y'all been following and know that I've recently had uh, rotator cuff surgery. What this allows me to do is get back into an upper body workout. And the limitation on that is going to be just my forearms. Uh, rotators uh, or torsion rotation, uh, flexors and extensors. It allows me to get back into a workout of some type of my upper body without putting any stress whatsoever on my shoulder. And the reason being is because my shoulders are not supporting the weight. The uh, safety bar is supporting all of the weight. Okay. Another big advantage that I've already seen using this a few times is the form is able to maintain a strict standard because it's being held by the, by the um, catch pipe. Um, what this allows me to do is focus all the energy on my forearms okay we'll take a look now pull the weight up off of the floor You've got 40 pounds on it right now okay and there's a couple of different ways you can do this you can just crank it up or you can just take turns working it back and forth and this has turned out to be my favorite uh, method of working it now this is is uh, forearm um, ext extent, not extensor, uh, forearm flexor. 
So as you come up, if you bring your hand from this position and bring it all the way up like you're working a throttle on a motorcycle, that really works your forearm muscle in a full range of motion. All right. <clears throat> if you're having uh, a weak uh, wrist, you can work it within the level of uh, comfort. And after I've worked that, I can come over here and work this and back. And forth. Now I can do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or I could just do like a whole set right here, or I could do, I could focus on a certain point. But one of the things about this, it does allow you to maintain constant tension. Okay, so that's the uh, forearm flexor. We'll take a look at the extensor. Okay, I've reduced the weight to about 20 pounds, and the reason being is because your um, extensor muscles typically aren't as strong as your flexor, so much larger muscle group. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and get this wound up and bring the weight up off the floor. And in this one, I'm going to bring the weight up where you can see it a little bit. Now I'm just working this uh, in a rotational all right now this is the muscle you're going to be working now you're going to be working it from this angle the rope is coming off on this side so as i pull it up i'm working this muscle now if you just wanted some grip strength i'd reduce the rate and increase the reps if you're looking for size i would put as much weight on here as you possibly could bear and work it to failure. A lot of times the forearms and the calves are very similar in the way uh, that you work those in my opinion and that is uh, not necessarily like uh, if you were doing German volume training doing 10 sets of 10 you would just basically work it to exhaustion. I, I, wouldn't, I would really increase the weight. I'm able to do this a little bit too easy. But you can see here and if you needed some help like uh, a forced rep or something like that you can come over here and help it out or you could do you could really load it up and, and do a two-handed workout but it, it's really good uh, when I woke up this morning uh, my uh, forearms were uh, pretty sore now we're going to take a look at the uh, torsion or the rotation aspect of uh, uh, the, the workout setup. Now right, we're going to look at the uh, rotational potential for uh, the forearm workout. Now I already see some people are going to be thinking, "Hey, yeah, you're a big dummy, man. Uh, you you could do the same thing with the, a, a wrist rotator, a, a roll-up bar. You can build it with a broomstick and some string, or you can buy one for twelve dollars at Walmart and load it up with weight and just stand there and do this." Well. That's requiring a lot of synergy to lift a, a lot of weight. And what this allows you to do is to load it up with more weight, maintain better form, and also gives you additional uh, workout exercises like this. Now I want to stand behind the bar. All right, I'm going to go ahead and crank it up to get uh, the weight up off the floor. I'm going to stand here like this so that my hand is out in front of me. I'm going to work it this way. Okay? So now I'm working muscles here that you can't work any other way. Alright? I'm going to switch off. I'm going to work this way. And that's working some muscles in here that you're not able to work any other way. Okay? And then when we're done with that, we just switch, go to the other side of the machine. And start working it from here. Oh, bring it up off the floor. Work it from here. And then balance the load out, and we'll work it from here. Okay, so you can see, this is really hitting the forearms in four different axes that you can't do with uh, a squeeze machine, which 
these something like this has been one of my favorites you can load this up with a, a plate and then squeeze it I still use that from time to time um, but as a primary this right here has got to be my number one favorite because it, it delivers a workout unparalleled to anything else I've used before.